Blog Talk Radio, the world's largest online radio network. Hello, I'm Paula Begon. I'm the cosmetics cop with my Paula's Choice team, Brian Barron and Desiree Sardal. And hi, Brian, you there? I'm here. Hello. Hello. And I think Desiree is working, uh, getting uh, on the show. Desiree and I are both in Korea. Uh, Busan, Korea. We were in Seoul, and now we are uh, in Busan, which is just a beautiful uh, city. It's the second biggest city in uh, in Korea. We're on the uh, the China Sea Ocean, and it's just lovely. We've been talking to Korean women and doing media interviews and introducing uh, Korean women to my book, which has been translated. Well, a couple of my books have been translated in uh, to Korean. And uh, I have Apollo's Choice Korea is my products are distributed here, and it's it's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. And You're kind uh, of a rock star over there, aren't you? I'm a rock star in Korea. Go figure. I just, I mean, it's just it's cool. I mean, it's it's really cool. And the Korean women are just fascinating. You know, it's what I found. You know, each culture that I traveled to and country, and I've, you know, I was counting how many countries I've been in since I've started my uh, career and re- writing my books and, you know, po- uh, you know, my products, Paula's Choice, distributed uh, in about 40-some countries around the world. And I personally have traveled to 42 countries. Can you imagine? I mean, that, that's all. My passport, I've had to have pages added and new passports and uh and you know i got to say in all of my travels what is unique and, and typically i would say all women you know you know skin is skin it doesn't matter asian african you know you know you know native american native mexican it doesn't really matter what your skin color is or what your race is because race and skin color isn't a skin type At, You know, the same way, you know, regardless of your skin color, you know, your heart doesn't differ because you're, you know, Asian, your liver, your kidney. You know, it's not like you go to the hospital because, and you're a particular skin color or race and you say, no, 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 wait, don't operate on me until you get the handbook out on Asian livers. It it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Skin is merely the largest organ of the human body and what you do to take care of a pimple and what you do to protect your skin from the sun and sun damage affects all skin types obviously white skin more than black skin but you got to protect the skin the same way so it's it's interesting i mean that is definitely something a lot of people believe and you know i can see why they believe it because visually you look different and that's part of the skin thing but skin color even skin color is, is not a, a, a skin type any more than races. But what's particularly unique about Korean women is Korean, a typical Korean woman, and I mean typical, not the exception to the rule, uses over 18 skincare products twice a day. 18? And I'm not exaggerating. Wait, did you Eight, say 18? 18 skincare products, and we're not counting lipstick, mascara, or blush. Is this just but we for are the face? Just for the face. So what they, and they use. Have, and they have separate oh, products for the neck and chest, too. Right. Oh, right, I forgot about those. That doesn't include, yeah, right. So here's what they do. They use a cleanser. Well, they use an oil, uh, some kind of oil product to wipe off their makeup. They use a cleanser. They use a scrub. They use a bar soap, and they use an eye makeup remover. Then they follow up with a toner and a mister. From there, they follow up with something called essences. I'm not even quite sure what essences are other than some kind of serum-y kind of thing, but three different ones. From there, they use a lotion and a cream, and we're not even to sunscreens yet, as well as an eye cream. 
from there, then they put on their sunscreen. And I know I'm leaving out some steps somewhere. And then they repeat it, they repeat it twice a day. Twice a day. I, I, and, and when you go to the cosmetic counters in Korea, the cosmetic companies have more products on their counters than you see in any other country because they know Korean women will buy it. You should see, Brian, you should see all of the products on the Dior counter and the Lauder counter and the SK2 counter and Chanel, at least two dozen more products than you see anywhere else in the world. It Yikes. blew me out of the water, and they buy it. Perhaps the most shocking thing I told the women I talked to and the reporters is that in the morning, it takes me about five minutes to do my skincare routine. And I actually think I'm stretching it. I think it goes a lot faster than that. I think that includes brushing my teeth and flossing. And they were shocked. It takes them 40 minutes. And everybody was nodding their head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're, and they're using bad products. I mean, they're using products with way too much fragrance, jar packaging. They're, I mean, this doesn't even include using any prescription items or over-the-counter items for acne. They don't use exfoliants. We're one of the few lines uh, in Korea that has a selection of exfoliants. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's, you know, it, it's, it's a, I, Korean women are the most ripped off women at the cosmetic counters that I've run into in my very long career. But we're saving, Desiree and I are here, saving Korean women thousands of dollars and helping them take better care of their skin. It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And, um, and the attention we've been getting and the wonderful feedback, it's just, it's been it's been incredibly rewarding. And then Brian uh, sent an email he got from uh, a listener and a reader of our work. Uh, she sent a Dear Paula letter. And we've, we've got, you know, Brian, we have gotten letters like this before. But basically, uh, and we hear this every now and then, that a woman selling uh, Dermalogica, which is a skincare line, and she says, you know, I've read your work and I've done my own research. And she agrees with everything we've said. I don't know how you couldn't agree. It's as the research is the research, but some people obviously think I have my head up my backside. But nonetheless, she says she agrees, and she's feeling very guilty that, a, you know, a number of the products she has to sell from Dermalogica are products she would recommend because they contain irritating ingredients. So and she's Paula, feeling what really, guilty. Paula, just, I'm sorry, just uh, what really struck me about that note, because um, I, know, I know we've gotten these comments before from well-intentioned estheticians who feel torn between being ethical and having a paycheck, um, and not that you can't be ethical and be an esthetician, I'm not saying that, but what struck me about this letter is that the part where she mentioned that even when she tells these women what to use and kind of cherry picks what she knows is pretty good, the women still want the highly fragranced products, the products with irritants, and the products in jar packaging. You know, it's and she's trapped because it's not like she can say, uh, that's not the product from Dermalogica you should be using because they think it's the fancy one because it makes all kinds of anti-wrinkle or whatever claim. And she can't say, no, it's a bad product, don't use it. She can just try to steer people away, but the claims are often way too enticing that right. they would actually, you know, give up the chance to really find, you know, the best anti-wrinkle product. So she's stuck. She's, the, the letter is basically asking, she wants us to assuage her guilt. I don't know how to make her less guilty. I, I feel bad. I, I know we've heard this from, you know, cosmetic salespeople and estheticians over the years. It's a rough one when you're selling a product line, and especially some of the high-end lines like Darfon and Sisley and Sothies and, and Phytomer that are, you know, that you see in a lot of spas and a lot of other products are some of the worst ones out there. They're just 
badly formulated, way too many jars, way too much fragrance, and irrita- other irritating ingredients. I mean, it's just, or just badly formulated, you know, contain nothing of benefit, you know, just wax and water and no uh, state-of-the-art ingredients. It's, um, that, tell you, so when you, so we have to respond to this dear, lovely lady and somehow tell her I wish we could help, but we can't. It's just, um, it's just the way it, you know, facts are facts. I, I feel bad, but um, the other thing, actually, the topic du jour, the topic for today, uh, uh, Brian, who is the uh, the head of the Paula's Choice team for research and reviews, uh, because this is my favorite topic. I've spent my life saving women money, and for super bargains, you can't always do super bargains. You can do under thirty. That's actually relatively easy for great products, and you can even do. Under 20, if, if you forgive me, you know, blowing my own horn, a lot of Paula's Choice products, most of Paula's Choice products are under 20. But now for the absolute bargain of the bargain, uh, Brian has put together actually a great list. It's more than we, it's uh, it's the uh, 10 best skincare and 10 best uh, makeup products. Brian, you want to save our audience a whole bunch of money and uh and let them know I, what's going on out sure, there sure sure yeah um oh my gosh I, I totally sounded midwestern there sure sure you betcha <laughs> um and i mean that with great affection i i am a midwestern boy my accent does pop out from time to time um all right skincare so everything i'm going to tell you about is priced under ten dollars some 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 of them are like right at the threshold, but uh, there are a few categories to be upfront about in terms of not – we were unable to find a great buy for under $10. There's categories like moisturizers, daytime moisturizers with sunscreens, retinol products, where in order to get the type of ingredients that we know are the best for uh, anti-aging, for helping your skin produce younger, healthier cells, those ingredients quite simply cost more. So it really isn't surprising that we're not finding really well-formulated products such as retinol products for, for less than $10. It's just not good business. That said... Right, uh, and, and right because you could... So, right, so, so Brian, just I want to mention, you know, yeah. so another... And Desiree, another show we absolutely need to do is the products that are absolutely worth considering and... You know, maybe we put the price point uh, at 30 or 35 or, or 40 for those anti-aging products that are really loaded um, with the state-of-the-art ingredients that – actually, we are doing a show on that coming up. Never mind. I think we got that covered. Okay, Brian, go for it. Let's do the bargains of the bargains. If not. All right, skincare. here we go. Uh, those with acne, you can't go wrong with Clean and Clear Persa Gel 5. It costs about $6 for a one-ounce tube. It's lightweight fragrance-free, and medicated with 5% benzoyl peroxide. If you have acne and or if you're looking to use salicylic acid or BHA as an exfoliant, which can benefit all skin types, including those who are concerned with signs of aging, uh, Neutrogena's oil-free acne stress control 3-in-1 hydrating acne treatment is a favorite, quite possibly the longest product name ever. Uh, it's seven ninety nine for two ounces. You can find this at most drug stores. Uh, we check on this regularly to make sure Neutrogena hasn't discontinued it. Sometimes they sneak in and do that, and then we're left with no other BHA products to recommend other than those from Paula's Choice. But, of course, if you want to consider Paula's Choice, we have more BHA products than anyone else out there. Uh, yes, next and in different yeah. – I just to mention is this is a this is a gel and uh, what right. we do because we believe so strongly in salicylic acid uh, we have lotions and gels and liquids and different uh, strengths and penetrations but yeah the Neutrogena one yeah it's one of the only ones out there next Sorry. yep for a cleanser Olay foaming face wash for sensitive skin it's about four fifty for a nice size pump bottle it's great for all skin types. It's fragrance-free, which is what all skin types should be striving for, but especially sensitive skin, and it's going to remove your makeup without leaving your skin dry or tight. 
Banana Boat Sport Performance Lip Balm with SPF 50. We're getting to, uh, closer to summer. If you're going to be out on the beach or on a boat, this is a really convenient way to keep sunscreen not only on your lips, uh, but also on those areas that you might forget with a regular sunscreen, like the tops of the ears, the bridge of your nose, even the tops of your feet. Getting a sunburn on the tops of your feet is quite possibly one of the most painful things you will ever go through. Don't let it happen to you. L'Oreal Paris Clean Artiste, uh, their waterproof and long-wearing eye makeup remover is one of the better ones at the drugstore. It's about $7 for four ounces. Very gentle, but it's still effective. It's even going to take off waterproof mascara, and it's fragrance-free and does not have coloring agents. Next up, uh, if you are a fan of the uh, Trader Joe's grocery store, uh, in most of their stores you can find a small selection of their skincare products, which we've reviewed on Beautypedia. But a great bargain is the Enrich Moisturizing Facial Lotion with SPF 15. It's $3.99 for four ounces. It includes zinc how oxide. Can they for... afford, how can they afford to do that? That's got to be a lost leader. I mean, that's just yeah. astounding. That's I, just think, astounding. I think so, too. Yeah, it's it's fragrance-free. It does contain some antioxidants. Uh, if you're cross-checking any of these recommendations on Beautypedia, this Trader Joe one did not get our highest rating. It got a happy face, uh, but if it contained a, a greater amount of antioxidants and some other goodies, we would have made it a Paula's pick. But still, three ninety nine for four ounces. It's it's like their two buck Chuck wine if you shop there. Uh, Paula's Choice <laughs> oil blotting papers. They really do sell wine for two dollars a bottle, and it's actually not half bad. They they do two buck Chuck. Yep. Paula's Choice oil blotting papers. There are a, a handful of companies that sell oil blotting papers. You can find these at the drugstore. Um, we get so much great response from ours, and they're, they're priced competitively, six ninety five for 100 sheets. We sell refill packs for less than that, and they're non-powdered, which a lot of women prefer because they want to have greater control over how much powder they're putting back on after they blot. Next up is Alpha Hydrox's Spotlight Targeted Skin Lightener. This has the um, gold standard skin lining ingredient, 2% hydroquinone, plus 10% of the AHA glycolic acid. So you're going to get that exfoliant boost to help the hydroquinone work even better. It's fragrance-free. It's $9.99 for almost an ounce, so it just ekes in under our benchmark. We also like Alba Botanica's Very Emollient Sunblock Mineral Protection, fragrance-free, SPF 30, $10 for uh, 995 for four ounces. It's gentle. It's great for dry, sensitive skin, including those who are dealing with rosacea, and it contains several antioxidants too, which you really, any sunscreen you're considering should have those antioxidants in there, even if it's just a dusting. Some is better than none. Antioxidants have been proven to help boost the efficacy of sunscreen actives. They also help boost your skin's own defenses. It's just it's an extra measure of protection that everyone really should be using. Last up for skincare is a body care product. Uh, it's St. Ives, their intensive healing body cream that is fragrance-free. It is $6.99 for a 7.5-ounce tube. Wonderful for dry, sensitive skin. It really is fragrance-free. It contains antioxidant plant oils and a high amount of skin-repairing glycerin. Paula, any comments before we do the makeup or... No, that's that you always put together the best list, Brian. That's great. It's uh, and these are very, very good uh, bargains uh, to consider. Of course, I do prefer Paula's Choice. I know I made them. I know what's in them. Uh, but these are very, very good options, and that's what women need: are good options for their skin uh, and their makeup, no matter uh, what their budget is, and no matter where they want to shop. They got to get the best. Because that's what's important. Makeup. We got to well, save that, money that is, on that makeup. Is mission, helping you find the best products yeah. for your skin. Makeup. That's here true. we go. Get those pens ready. Um, and actually, just for our listeners uh, who may want to call in or inquire tomorrow, um, I'll make sure that this list gets down to our customer service team, um, and we maybe could post it in an upcoming uh, email. Makeup, CoverGirl CG Smoothers Aqua Smooth Compact Makeup with SPF 15. Sells for $9.99. You're getting an all-titanium dioxide sunscreen. It's got a great 
lightweight cream to powder texture, light to medium coverage, and comes in shades that are equally good for light and dark skin tones, which isn't always the easiest to find. Another foundation, uh, this one without sunscreen, is Maybelline's New York Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation. This has a really unique kind of spongy mousse-like texture. It feels like nothing on. It covers beautifully and comes in, there. again, another a nice range of shades, this time more for fair to medium skin tones. Another Maybelline product we had to mention, uh, especially with the current trend of department store cosmetic lines selling those brush-on highlighter type products. Those are great, but you're getting a twofer at a low price with this Maybelline one. It's their Instant Age Rewind Double Face Perfector. Paul, I think you've used this, right? Yes, I have used this. I've been using... Yep. I, I was allergic to mine, uh, the Paula's Choice Concealer, for a long time, and now all of a sudden I'm not allergic to it anymore. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden oh. I can, my skin can handle it. Go figure. But, yeah, it's, um, I, yeah, I definitely used it. We definitely gave it a high mark. It's definitely worth considering. Yep. You get a liquid concealer with a matte finish on one end, and this concealer provides pretty good coverage. Um, and then the other end is a sheer highlighter, you can use on its own, or you can put over the concealer to help brighten shadowed areas. They work beautifully together, and the shade range is nice and neutral. Again, 750. Uh, okay. Next up, cool. we like New York Colors Smooth Skin Pressed Face Powder. It is 2.99, quite possibly the best inexpensive pressed powder you'll ever come across. The shade range isn't extensive. Unfortunately, it's probably best for fair to medium skin tones. It is better for normal to dry skin than normal to oily skin, um, but if you've got combination skin and you're on a budget and you need a good pressed powder, it's one to take a look at. NYX or NYX Cosmetics, which is a brand that you'll find in some drugstores, uh, and we see it quite a bit in Ulta stores, their powder blush rivals any powder blush you'll find at the department store. It costs around $5.99, great colors, smooth texture, and even application. They offer several matte shades, and even the shades they have that have shine, it's fairly subtle. You know, there's a few really glittery ones that you can easily pass up unless glittery cheeks is what you're after, but this is just a great, great pressed powder blush. At Target, Sonia Kashuk's uh, Dramatically Defining Long Wearing Gel Liner. It is $8.99. It is a wonderful, um, that kind of cream gel liner that goes on with the brush, Easy to apply. Once it sets, it wears and wears and wears. Um, next up for eyeshadows, Physicians Formula, either the Matte Collection or Bright Collection Quad Eyeshadows. These are around six seventy-five to seven dollars a piece. Again, they're quad sets, so you're getting four shades in one compact. They apply evenly and are mostly well coordinated. The mattes, of course, are the standouts, especially if you have wrinkles around the eyes because shine tends to magnify those, unfortunately. But the Bright Collection does shimmer well, and it doesn't flake. So check them out, see what you think. Can't go wrong with those. We also like Elf Cosmetics Mineral Lip Gloss. This costs $3. Forget the mineral claim. They're only stating that because it contains mineral oil, which isn't a bad ingredient, but this is a <laughs> wonderful... Yeah. Isn't that funny? That's, um, a, that's a spin on the term mineral. Yeah. This lip gloss is fragrance-free, which a lot of women tell us they prefer. They don't want that strong, fruity scent right under their nose. It's not goopy or sticky, and it comes in a really nice selection of sheer flattering colors that you can use alone or pair with any lipstick of your choice. For lipstick, again, we're going back to NYC, also known as New York Color. Their ultra-moist lip wear is 99 cents. For under a buck, you can get a great creamy lipstick that's got a glossy finish. It's not for those with lines around the mouth, but really no cream lipstick is. But still, if that's not an issue for you, this is a bona fide beauty steal. Last up on the list is Almay's One Coat Nourishing Mascara Lengthening. This is one of their mascaras that's been around for a while and for good reason. Uh, unlike the Maybelline one in the pink tube with the green cap that I just don't understand the appeal of, this actually does something. It works great to lengthen and thicken lashes. It wears without a hitch, and it's easy to remove. 650. Can't ask for much more for your mascara than that, unless you're looking for waterproof, and you can find our best waterproof picks on Beautypedia. That's so it. So NYC, 
NY, it, that was brilliant, Brian. So NYC has a creamy, glossy lipstick for 99 cents? Yep. The, the packaging is about as bare bones as it gets. This is not the type of lipstick you'll want to whip out at Saks Fifth Avenue and touch up. Um, <laughs> you know, it doesn't have that elegant, you know, hefty gold weight to it with the etching and all that. And those can be those can be fine, but you're going to pay about $24 for a lipstick like that versus 99 cents. I just, that's 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 wild. That's cr- so there. So NYC is competing with Elf, obviously, because that's Elf's little angle is that their products are really cheap. So right. I guess it's like Walmart. You're just bulk selling like like crazy. Mm-hmm. So but, oh, by the way, um, real quick, and then uh, Desiree will will take our first caller. So just real quick, I wanted to mention we're going to get. Oh, by the way, we will um, if you sign up. Uh, for those who aren't signed up for our uh, beauty bulletins, uh, go to paulischoice.com and sign up for our beauty bulletins, and we will in the next week uh, get this out in one of our beauty bulletins. So you got to sign up for the beauty bulletin, and you'll uh, get all of our uh, information that we send out, send out, and you can choose how often you want to hear from us. But I, I wanted to mention we uh, there's an article that we've been uh, working on well, actually, we work on articles all the time that we put up on paulischoice.com. And one of them is what you can expect from your skincare routine. Take a look at that article about when you can tell a product is or isn't working and what to do about it and what options there are. I think that that, I mean, we write a lot about, you know, the research on blackheads and acne and wrinkles and antioxidants and, you know, sun care and baby care. I mean, there, there's a ton of wonderful articles, if I do say so myself, my team and I, we, you know, put a lot of time and energy into getting you the most current uh, information. In fact, we just revamped a lot of them, but this article on what to expect from your uh, skincare routine is getting a wonderful response. We're very proud of it. Uh, and then th- there's another one that will be going up in a, in a week or so on h- how and when do you apply products? How long do you wait uh, between products? I, I think you'll find that interesting, especially for those who are using a combination of, you know, anti-wrinkle products and antioxidants and anti-acne and exfoliants. Exactly how to, or, you know, retinol, whatever products women are combining uh, to take care of their skin, and men for that matter, um, how to apply them is, is, is fascinating because it's different than what you may think uh, in terms of getting it done fast and, and how to do that. So uh, that article will be up. So check out the, the Learn section on uh, paulischoice.com for more information. And Desiree, who are we talking to now? We have a Rayleigh from New York on the line. You're, you're Rayleigh? Oh, Rayleigh? Rayleigh, is that you? Aureli? Hello? Aureli? Hello? Are, is that you? Hello? Yes. Hello? So it's, it's yeah, I can hear you, Aureli. I'm talking oh, to you. This is Paula. Good. So Hi, how are you? So I'm good, dear. How do you spell your name? It's Orly, O-R-L-I. Ah, Orly, like oh, close to the nail polish. What can I do for yes. you, Orly? So I've recently started reading your books. And I would say I'm officially a convert. I used to love going to the department stores and getting the fancy packaging and felt like I couldn't do any better. And I now realize that I've been spending my money <laughs> needlessly. My question was, are there any products that should be bought at a drugstore or at a department store or can you get everything at the drugstores? Is there anything that well, is better? Well, of course, I, more of course expensive? I would say you. I, of course, I would say you know the drugstore and Paula's Choice and Avon has some options and, that are reasonably priced. So there's definitely places where you could get reasonably priced, well formulated products. The drugstore isn't the only place, but yeah, there's great products at the drugstore. Um, but there's also bad products. You got to really know what you're buying, no matter where you shop. But in terms of splurging, I actually can't think of any product. I mean, the fancier products, particularly for anti, 
wrinkle anti-aging that are loaded with state-of-the-art ingredients like antioxidants and cell communicating ingredients and skin repairing ingredients. When you look at the best of the best, you can really do it for under 30, uh, maybe under 40 for some products, but it absolutely doesn't have to be. And that's only for those specialty products because, you know, they're more, those kind of products require more elegant state-of-the-art ingredients. But when it comes to acne products and cleansers and and toners and, you know, the best of the best, you're really looking at under, you know, 20, 25, and then for some of the best bargains we just went over. And definitely for makeup. I mean, let me make it very, very clear that other than foundation, and only foundation because you have to try it on before you buy it, and that's uh-huh. tricky to do uh, at at the drugstore. But other than that, yeah, you're – save money. Yeah, there's there's no reason to – waste money and now that you know how you're going to look gorgeous and pay yes. rent i take your book with me whenever i go shopping and i <laughs> check up every product before i buy it so orly what kind of skin type do you have i would say normal the combination oily okay so what we're going to do and this will even save you more money we're going to send you some of my paula's choice skin balancing products for you oh, to great. give a try and see how and see how they work for you. Okay. okay great. Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. So you're welcome. You'll see, and so you'll see what you think of Paula's choice, and of course, you always have the reviews of the other products, depending on what you end up liking. Yes. Thank All you. All right. Take care, Leslie. Thank you. Desiree, All right. Our next, next caller. caller is Langdon from Colorado. Lang- Hi. Langdon? Yes. Hi. Is spell your name here? L-A-N-G-D-O-N. Oh, it is. It's Langdon. What mm-hmm. an interesting name. What can I do for you, Langdon? Well, I was wondering, um, oh, I just first wanted to say thank you for the free Beautypedia during the past several months. That is such a wonderful thing, and um, I appreciate it. I consult it all the thank time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, good. We uh, we plan on keeping it free from now on, so I'm glad you're finding it uh, it's useful. That's wonderful. Yes, I uh, particularly the new product. You know, before I uh, splurge or even you know just pick up something, I always check there because, of course, I have your books too. But new things come out all the time that aren't in the books, so. And I know it's enticing, but don't get, I want you, Langdon, don't get seduced by the ad, okay? I know. Stay strong. Stay strong. Oh, you, you, uh, I am a a huge fan of yours. All of you are just great. Um, I was wondering if there are more inexpensive, shall I say, than the department store options for makeup brushes. I I know the MAC line is good, and I mean, there's there's a lot of wonderful ones at the department store, and, and they are kind of an investment. And I just wondered if there is anything at the drugstore or Target that's really uh, comparable. Well, we'll, send you a, we'll send you a set of uh, my Paula's Choice uh, brushes and see oh, what you think any- of those. Uh, oh, so I we'll we'll get you those, but for the but for <laughs> but for the rest of our listeners, um, you know, one of the things about splurging, I, I don't think you need to splurge on brushes, but one of the things about splurging on brushes is that it's really a one, if you take care of them, it's really a one time mm-hmm. purchase. You you don't have mm-hmm. to repurchase them. If, you know, what a lot of women do is get overzealous about washing them, and that damages the hair and eventually breaks down the brush or they get the the part of the brush wet, the wood handle, or they get the, the metal uh, part that holds the hairs together. They get that wet and that breaks down the glue that holds the hair together. And so they, they wreck their brushes. You don't have to over clean your brushes, uh, you know, you know, once every, you know, one to two months, if, you know, as long as you're not a makeup artist using them on a lot of people. So makeup brushes last. Uh, they just laugh. But mm-hmm. in terms of saving money, uh, Brian, the body shop, they, do they still have their brushes? Yes. Oh, body so shop. the body shop is definitely an option. Sonia Koshek has doesn't have a lot of brushes, 
But uh, Brian, is it oh. is it Sonia Koshek and Rimmel that has brushes, or do they not have those anymore? Rimmel, I have not seen Rimmel's brushes in quite some time. Uh, but uh, so the Sonia Koshek line at Target, um, their their brush collection used to be, or her brush collection used to be smaller. It has since expanded. Uh, she has quite a, quite a broad range now. There's probably about 15 to 20 to choose from. Oh, mm-hmm. how do you like that? So yeah, definitely she's got two different styles it. now. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So There's she's like definitely There's like a professional want... series and with the uh, – it depends on the type of handle you want. Let's put it that way. Whatever feels more comfortable in your hand, she's got two choices now. Uh-huh. Right. So so that's up to so – so we'll get you a set of Paula's Choice brushes with uh, with the well, case and um, our oh I'll, Desiree, let's make sure we send Langdon uh, my new my new makeup bag. So I I yes. found this makeup bag that I use. You know I'm sur- you know some people shop for clothes. I shop for luggage and makeup bags. That's just that's my that's my thing. And yes, so I, 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 I found understand. Makeup bag. <laughs> I found this makeup bag from years ago. And uh, finally decided to tweak it a little bit, and we got it made for Paula's Choice, and it's available now on the website. So uh, we're going to send you that makeup bag with a set of brushes, and oh, we'll get you. you set up, and uh, you can save money too. Okay? Well, thank, thank you, Langdon. Thank you so much. Okay. Take care, dear. Desiree, next caller. We have Heather from California. Heather, Hi. how are you? I'm good. Hi. How are you? I, my sister, I, great. Oh, good. My sister loves you so much, and so anyway, um, my, my skin is oily, and it's kind of oily and normal. And so I'm looking for something that a good cleanser that's inexpensive, but every cleanser that I see has fragrance in it, and it just does it. It just feels like a film on my skin and so is there anything that I can find that is inexpensive because your tell book me, I take your book so, everywhere for <laughs> look at so ingredients me, and everything has fragrance huh? I know I know we're one of the few lines out there that, I know uh, that you're amazing <laughs> well I don't know that I'm so amazing I just you are you I don't are. know you're amazing I don't know why the other, <laughs> don't know why the other companies well, actually, I do know why the other companies don't do that because they don't, you know, they women are attracted to fragrance, and a lot of women don't. Right, know but that for it's acne a, line, a, they for <laughs> acne line they have fragrance in them. I don't understand that. I don't. Yeah, well, don't ask me. I don't understand it either. But, okay. Um, in, in terms of a cleanser, in terms of a cleanser, tell me some of the cleansers you have been using. I've used uh, Neutrogena. I've used. Uh, Peter Thomas Ross. I've used everything. I've used a Marad, a Marad one. It was like a, a, a not for acne per se, but more of a balancing so that my skin, because um, sometimes it breaks out when I have large pores. I've tried everything, everything on the market. Okay. I have everything. Okay, so, so here's here's a, here are some options. Well, and b- before I talk about the cleanser. Can you give me an idea of what other products you're using on your skin besides the cleanser, just so I can get a sense of, you know, what you're um, I doing? Use, I use a sunscreen by, um, it's an older sunscreen that I had from uh, Copper Tone, and it has um, it has a, a, a bronzing to it, but it's fragrance-free, and it has, like, all these supposedly antioxidants and stuff okay. in it, but I think that's breaking me out, too. I don't know. It's, yeah, uh, um, I think it's breaking. I think it's breaking you out too, uh, as well. Heather, what what else are you doing? Are you using a toner or using any anti acne products? I use a toner um, by Neutrogena. I mean, not Neutrogena, Clear and something, but it has, um, okay. it's fragrance-free, but it has alcohol or something in it. And yeah. then that's okay. it. And I use a Clarisonic, but it's special. Okay, I got it. All right, so here's what I want you to do. So, um Obviously, I'm going to be sending you some uh, Paula's Choice products, and I'll tell you what those are in just a minute. But for other options, the cleanser that Brian mentioned from uh, oil, uh, I can't believe I was just going to say oil of Olay. From Olay, uh, they haven't been, when did they, Brian, when did they stop calling themselves oil of Olay? It feels like it's been years now. It has, probably uh, eight or nine years ago. Yeah, at least. 
So, um, so the cleanser that Brian mentioned, their uh, fragrance-free, sensitive skin foaming cleanser, is indeed uh, an excellent, reasonable price cleanser that I think will get you what you want. Uh, Can it take well makeup off? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. okay. But, I, but depending on but depending on how much makeup you're using, you can stay using the Clarisonic, Although. Brian and I have both reviewed the Clarisonic and the Olay facial brush, and mm-hmm. I definitely would recommend the Olay facial brush over uh, the Clarisonic. But as long as you own the Clarisonic, when you're wear when you have oily skin and you're wearing makeup, to make sure you get it all off, a soft facial brush uh, is actually a great option. I don't think that the Clarisonic or the Olay brush is as gentle as I would like it to be. And as a matter of mm. fact, my product, develop, my product development team and I were searching to find and develop uh, a, a soft brush that can help get off last traces of makeup. So the Olay one is very good. They're sensitive foaming cleanser. Also the cleanser from a small line of products called Sarah V at the drugstore is a very, very good cleanser. And, of course, I'm going to send you uh, uh, the range of my products for, you know, normal oily combination skin called uh, skin balancing. you got to stop okay. using that toner with alcohol. Heather, it's just making your skin worse. It causes free radical damage, hurts the skin's healing process, which makes red marks left over okay. from acne look worse. It's, it's just a problem. And the copper tone sunscreen for your skin type is going to make you break out. What I'm going to strongly recommend that you do is use a foundation and a pressed powder with sunscreen. What skin color are you, Heather? I'm kind of like, um, I'm African American, so I have, um, I'm more, I guess, yeah, I don't know, not as olive, but not as orange. So it's like in between, like a bronzy, I guess, I don't know, like medium. Right. So, Brian, which, uh, for, we don't have, Paula's Choice doesn't have sunscreens for uh, darker skin tones. Brian, what? What uh, found, what product line out there has foundations with sunscreen for African American women? Uh, Clinique offers some. So does Mac. I would start there. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to uh, oh, oh oh one more one more um, at, but, uh, the, okay. at the drugstore L'Oreal uh, True Match Super Blendable Makeup with SPF 17 has some darker shades. Um, that's the one that you've seen Beyonce advertise in the magazines, and so they've uh-huh. got a shade for about her skin tone, and then maybe a couple, a couple down from there. Okay, I know it's a one-time so, question, but the the um, sunscreens break me out too. So it, could it just be the sunscreen right. itself? Well, what it is is you're using you're using a lotion sunscreen, and by definition, lotions and creams are meant to absorb into the skin whereas foundations mm-hmm. are designed to stay on the surface. So you Got have, it. it's not that it's 100%, it's just less of an issue with absorption and clogging pores. So that's mm-hmm. why I don't want you to use a lotion. I mean, I, you can use the copper tone from the neck down, but for your face, for daytime, as long as you're wearing a foundation, wear a foundation with sunscreen and a pressed powder with sunscreen over it and you'll get that protection that you need because for African-American skin, you get skin discolorations, you get a grayer skin tone from sun damage, and you get wrinkles right. eventually. Right. So that'll help a lot. So what, what, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you, you know, the Paul's Choice Skin ba- Balancing Cleanser. You can compare that to the other ones you're gonna, uh, you might want to consider trying. Uh, I'm going to send you my skin balancing toner. You would use it during the daytime. I'm going to send you one of my BHA liquid okay. exfoliants. I want you to give that a try. I think you'll be very surprised the difference uh, in terms of helping uh, your acne. And of course, there's other products you'll be getting. Uh, but I think not using uh, the copper tone. Oh, Desiree, let's make sure we send the Shine Stopper. You know, I got to yes. tell you, so it's been, um, sorry, I'm jumping subject. Let me make sure I finish my what I'm saying to Heather. Never mind, I can't remember. Okay, so what the case let me mention about my Shine Stopper. We've been doing, Desiree's been doing this demonstration that is just wow, and it wowed me. I can't, somebody uh, suggested that uh, we take some olive oil and put it on the back of someone's hand, a layer of olive oil, and then put the Shine Stopper over it. And sure enough, after you put the Shine Stopper on over the olive oil, 
within a minute, the olive oil is gone. The back of the hand wow. doesn't feel greasy. It feels mad. I couldn't. It it just was wowing. Desiree, how many people did you do that to in that line? Oh, gosh, I did practically the whole line, at least 70 people. Oh, my God. Wow. So it's so we're going to also send you one of my... Yeah, it's really, I I, I couldn't... That's I, amazing. It, it, it was even better than I thought. So we're going to send you uh, one of my Shine Stoppers. Uh, there is another product out similar to my Shine Stopper, but I think it's twice as expensive, Brian, the OTC. What is, what's the... OC, uh, OC8. OC8. How much, yeah. is, is that like 30 bucks, 40 bucks? How much is that? I think it's... Do you remember? Right it's pricey. Thirty-two ninety-five, thirty-nine dollars. Yeah, thirty-nine. Yeah, so mine's cheaper. So I'm going to send you mine, but just so you know what other options are out there, there is one from OTC, right. and I think that when you stop doing these other things that aren't, that are actually, I think you'll be shocked how much better your skin will do, Heather. Thanks for coming. I'm so Desiree. excited. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Desiree. Next caller, Pam from Washington. Hi, Pam from Washington. Hi. Hi, what can I do for you? Um, well, um, I've been wondering about foundations. Um, I'm fairly fair-skinned, and I'm 55 years old, and um, I'm always wanting to wear a foundation that's a little darker than my skin tone to give me a little bit of color on my face instead of so pale. Don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. I'll, oh, I'll, don't I'll, do finish that. your question. So I'll explain to you how to give your face more color without using an overall foundation color. There are a few tricks for that, but finish what you were going to say. Okay, so um, I've been trying to use uh, more of a, a beige color than a than a um, a real light color uh, foundation because it seems to give me a little bit more color. And I do put it around my chin and then my neck around there and um, it seems to work better for me because the other way if I match my skin tone I just look so pale too pale so what's, what's your question for me before I jump in and tell you what I think oh okay so my question is uh, what do you think about about that what can <laughs> I do okay. <laughs> Mike Paula is not going to tell you what she thinks <laughs> I, I have I'm absolutely going to tell you what I what I think. So, Pam, here's what the problem is with not matching your skin tone. Um, okay. One is that it, it just looks fake. It just looks fake. And putting makeup on your neck and chin area gets on your clothes. It's a mess. Yes, so it it's does. Impra- I know. It's impractical. And it still looks like uh, it still doesn't look true because you end up having to put on too much makeup to actually cover the color you have. So whatever you think is too pale, you end up looking too made up, and you got dirty clothes. So what I'm going to suggest to you is absolutely you have to match your skin tone. You have to. And But there is a trick to making your face look like it has more color. And what you do is you go to, uh, well, it's probably best to go to a store like Ulta or Sephora where you can play with color. Um, But uh, what you would do is you take a brush, and I'm going to send you one of our brushes. The um, Brian, what do we call our brush that has the wedge that you put the contour on with? What's that, what's that, what do we call that brush? Is it contour brush? I think we call it contour brush. Yeah, I think that's the one you're talking about. Okay, so we're going to send you. Okay. We're going to send you. We're going to send you one of those, and the trick is, is you take a tannish blush color, or it can even be an eyeshadow color. In fact, the way I do it on my face is with a uh, with a tannish um, beigey uh, blush color uh, that I place at my temple area and under my cheekbone. And a okay. little bit, um, a little, little bit just at the back sides of my face along my hairline. And then that gives you kind of a tannish, and it's you got to be gentle with it. Do not get carried away. 
And when you look at fashion magazines, what I'm describing to you, when you start looking at the women and how they're made up, you'll see that that is exactly how their makeup is done in the picture where they have this tannish, soft tan brown glow at the temple area and slightly along the hairline. It is a very convincing way to add color. Oh, you know, obviously you would still wear a blush. To add color and not look made up and not look like you've changed, you know, that you're wearing heavy makeup to change your skin color. And you won't have dirty clothes. You're going to love me. It's really a great trick. Look at fashion magazines and you, you will absolutely see exactly what I'm So you don't put it uh, on the apples of your cheeks, you put it where again? So this this is separate from blush. You still wear blush. Okay. This is where you but you take this tannish color. So you wear a true color blush, whatever soft peach or soft pink or whatever soft color blush you should normally be wearing. Then this tannish color, this soft you know, beigey tan color goes at the temple area. Temple, okay. The temple, just right next to the eye, at the back corner of the eye area and up a little bit onto the forehead, along very softly just at the hairline, along the hairline of the face, and then under the cheekbone. And then it under works the cheekbone. once. Huh? Right. Oh, once you take so you're a look kind of like the, uh, lining your face. Very gently, don't don't get carried away on me, but yes, very <laughs> gently. You will be surprised what that does and how much more natural your skin will look. And again, that laundry bill is going to be greatly reduced. So we're going to send you uh, the contour brush uh, that I want you to use uh, to give that technique a try. And Pam, tell me your skin type so we can send you some Paula's Choice skincare products. Um, I am a, a combination. I have oily skin next to my nose down there and then uh, normal skin around my uh, chin. Oh, and I have an oily forehead, too. Okay, so we're going to send you, you – I think you will – you'll love me. We're going to send you some of our uh, skin balancing – boy, we've got a lot of normal oily people this show. So we're going to send you some of my uh, skin balancing products and uh, see how they – do for you. Thanks for calling, Pam. That would be great. Thank you very much. All right. Take care, Pam. Desiree, next caller. Before we take our next caller, I'm, I'm also going to send Pam the Healthy Finish Press Powder in Healthy Tan, because actually that's what I use to contour, and it works great. Oh, I can't Paula's believe choice. I forgot that we have Healthy Tan. Yeah. Actually, it's the... It's the, the yeah. <laughs> that's an awesome it's, one. And Paula, the name of that brush uh, was our Crease Defining Brush. Uh, no, 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 the bigger one, the bigger one. Well, we'll, oh. we'll send the right one. I can't believe none of us can remember our products. No, <laughs> we, used to, we, used to have, we used to have a contour brush, but we discontinued it. Ah! Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, darn. All right, so, Brian, uh, let's do a little legwork and find what uh, contour brush is out there. Well, actually, you know something. Mac has, Mac uh, has a okay. couple of good ones. Right. But Pam can also let's send uh, Desiree. Let's send Pam our blush brush because she can also you can also just use a, a blush brush for that. Got um, it. And, and yep. uh, what was the other thing? Wait, that we were just oh the the healthy tan. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Let's make sure we send that. Let's try to get one more caller in Desiree. All right. Let's go to Andrea from Washington. Hi, Andrea. Hi. Hi. What can I do for you? Well, I recently started using Retin-A about two months ago, and I just have really kind of dry, flaky, yet oily, irritated skin. And I use it every third night. It's actually the brand name 0.4% uh, Micro. And I alternate each night with your 2% beta-hydroxy acid liquid, and then the next night I use the smoothing treatment. Oh, wow, we are overdoing. We are overdoing. Okay. So here's, okay. So you, you, <laughs> when did you start noticing the flaking? How, like, tell me the order of how you've been, when you started using what? 
Well, it was right off the bat, and, you know, I have been using the Retin-A, I probably started using it for a month, and then I started putting the AHA in, and then a couple of weeks ago started putting the BHA in, and it's kind of stayed about the same amount of flaky the whole time. Yeah, I bet. I, I bet. We, <laughs> we are... Uh, Andrea, we are overdoing. You've got to stop overdoing. You need to stop the... Uh, so you said... You, I take it you said your skin was normal to oily. Is that what you said? Yes. Is your skin's normal to oily? Are you also get, have some acne? I did. I don't anymore. Which so is the, so, nice. so the routine... So the, so the routine has taken care of the acne? Is that what you're saying? It has. I've just traded okay. one problem for the other. No, no, we're going to get rid of we're going to get rid of the other problem too. So, um, uh, and what cleanser are you using, Andrea? I kind of rotate as well. Mostly, I use the Olay Gentle Foaming Face Wash. That's fine to use. And then, what other products besides the exfoliants are you using? Um, I use your Super Antioxidant um, Concentrate, and I mix that with a little bit of really plain Cetaphil lotion. So I put that. Under my sunscreen, just a teensy bit, and I use your a little bit of your barely there sheer matte tint, and I mix that with City Block Sheer by Clinique. Any regular foundation at this point just kind of makes the flakes look more evident. Yeah, I bet, I bet. Okay, so I'm going to send you uh, my uh, Paula's Choice. Uh, resist toner. I want you to try that. You need a little bit more moisture in your skin. I think that will help. I want you to drop out using uh, the AHA for a while. Okay. And uh, and uh, are you which which of my exfoliants are you using? Which BHA product are you using? I am using the two percent liquid. Okay. I'm going to send you the two percent regular strength from Clear and see how that does for your skin. It's a little more gentle. The 2% liquid has much more penetration. So I want you to play with that uh, a little bit. Uh, you need to back out the, the AHA. Some people can't tolerate Retin-A. It's, it's, just, it's just the way it is. It's hard for some skin, you might, especially the micro you're using. You might want to mm -hmm. change to Renova, which is a little bit more moisturizing. Not much, but a little bit more. Uh, okay. And I think the toner is going to help you out a lot, and I'm also going to send you. I'm not nuts about Cetaphil. Cetaphil is like using a typewriter. It is just a very dated formula. <laughs> I want you. Uh, I'm going to send you my uh, Resist uh, uh, Barrier Repair Moisturizer as well as my Moisture Boost, uh, particularly the Moisture Boost for around the eye, and see how you do. And I got to run, uh, Andrea. Good luck. I think this will help you a lot, and it'll stop the flaking. You're overdoing the exfoliation. Good luck, Andrea. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for taking my call right. tonight. Have a sure. good day. Take care, dear. You too. So, it, it went so fast. So, I'm Paula Begon. I'm here in Korea talking to wonderful women. Uh, it's just been great. And now I'm on to Taiwan, uh, where I'm going to do more presentations and media interviews, introduce women all over the world to being beautiful and saving money. So, this is... Paula Big on the Cosmetics Cop with my Paula's Choice team, Desiree Store Doll and Brian Barron, keeping you beautifully informed. And next week we're going to be talking about seven bad habits that are ruining your skin. And this isn't the typical ones like smoking and that stuff. We already know that stuff. This is the stuff you don't know. Uh, and then on the 26th we're going to talk about your top five body care problems solved. So when you start showing skin more and more right now during the summer, your body's going to look perfect. And then on the Second, on June 2nd, six new ways to do your makeup even better than you're doing it. You're going to be surprised at these recommendations. This is what you haven't heard before on other <laughs> and other magazines and other stuff. This is going to be surprising. we got a lot of great shows coming up. We're going to have Dr. Leslie Bauman back. We're going to be talking to Dr. Brenda Irwin and Dr. Perry about all kinds of treatments and stuff for looking younger. Uh, we just lots oh hot uh, too many and I don't have enough time to tell you all the shows uh, Desiree we're all packed we're ready to get over to oh we're going to change you island first and then we're going to Taiwan right. you're all packed yes I'm all packed ready to go uh, all right. you two so are troopers 
we are we are we're, we're jet setting. So to all the listeners out there, thank you for taking the time to spend another evening with us. Or if you're listening archived, come visit me at Paula's Choice dot com. Until next week, take care. Blog Talk Radio, where millions of hosts and listeners gather.